In this video, I'll show you how to estimate the cost of contiguous pile shoring system, including how to calculate the quantities of the required concrete, steel, drilling, and manpower as well. And this will be a very good exercise as it introduces us to the enabling and piling works and also how to think about the involved cost elements in general. So as you can see here, I have this enabling work here, enabling work package, and it consists of a contiguous pile shoring system, which is piles next to each other, as you can see here in this detail, and as you can see in this sectional elevation as well. So how to calculate the cost of that? Actually, in order to do this, we need to calculate the concrete required and the steel required and the drilling cost and the manpower or steel fixing required to calculate the cost of one pile. And after that, we can calculate the cost of one linear meter of this system so starting with the concrete supply we have a pile of the diameter of let's say 0.6 meters and a depth of 12 meters so the first thing i want to calculate the concrete quantity required for this pile so how to do that the first thing i'll do is to calculate the area of the pile which is pi d squared divided by 4 so pi is 3.14 as we understand multiplied by 0.6 square because this is the diameter 0.6 divided by 4 so we can understand that the area of this circle is is 0.28 square meter so if i multiply this area or the area of this circle if i multiply it by the depth of the pile i get the volume so the volume is equal to area into depth so the volume is equal to 0.28 into 12 that's 3.39 cubic meters of concrete so if the rate for the concrete supply is 210 then the cost of concrete supply is equal to the volume which is 3.39 into 210 that's 712 dirhams per pile so this is the concrete required and this is the concrete cost for one pile and if we are meeting for the first time i am ahmed adil and you are watching cost engineering professional and here i help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career so if this is what you want this channel is actually for you you can subscribe or give me a comment like whatever you want let's continue now talking about the steel reinforcement so as we can see here we have two types of reinforcement in the pile we have the vertical reinforcement and we also have the spiral reinforcement and as we can see the vertical reinforcement is 10 t20 which means 10 bars of the diameter 20 mm this is the vertical reinforcement and of course the depth is equal to the pile depth which is 12 meters this is the vertical reinforcement for spiral reinforcement we have t10 at 150 mm spacing so we have diameter 10 millimeter and the spacing for this spiral reinforcement is 150 mm which is 15 centimeters so in order to calculate the quantity of the steel required for the pile i need to calculate these two things the vertical reinforcement and the spiral reinforcement so let's start with the easy one which is the vertical reinforcement so we have 10 numbers and each of these bars is 12 meters depth so we have 120 linear meters of vertical steel reinforcement and actually to calculate the steel reinforcement in general you just need the total length of the steel that you have and you need also the weight per linear meter of this steel so there is a small formula here that gives us the weight per linear meter which is the diameter squared divided by 162 so the vertical parts diameter here which i have is 20 mm so the weight per linear meter is 20 squared divided by 162 that will be equal to 2.469 kilogram per linear meter which means that any one linear meter of 20 mm dia reinforcement will weight 2.469 kilogram like 2.5 kilogram or 2 kilograms and a half per linear meter for the 20 mm dia so now since i have the total length which is coming from 10 bars 12 meters each so 10 into 12 that's 120 if i multiply the 120 by the 2.469 i understand that i need vertically 296.3 kilograms of steel reinforcement now going to the spiral reinforcement and actually to calculate again the weight of the spiral reinforcement the first thing i need is the length of the spiral reinforcement and i need the weight per linear meter of this reinforcement as well so the weight per linear meter we discussed and we will discuss again but let's focus on how to calculate the length of the spiral reinforcement the first thing I want to highlight here that if the pile diameter is 0.6 meter, there is something called the cover, which is the distance between the reinforcement and the outer perimeter of the pile. So that's usually 7.5 centimeter or let's say 0 0.075 meter. You just divide the 7.5 by 100 to get it in meter. So if I want the diameter of the internal spiral reinforcement, all I have to do is to just deduct two covers from the diameter of the pile. So if the diameter of the pile is 
0.6 meter minus two covers, which means minus two into 0.075 meter, then I will understand that the diameter of the spiral reinforcement is 0.45 meter or 45 centimeter. So this is the first thing here. After that, what I want to do, I want to calculate the number of rounds. And simply the number of rounds will be equal to the total depth of the pile divided by the spacing. So to calculate the number of rounds, I'll divide 12 meter, which is the depth of the pile, divided by 0.15, which is the spacing. So I'll understand that I have here 80 numbers of rounds in this spiral reinforcement. But this is not everything actually. Why? Because these circles are not horizontal circles. And I will teach you now how to calculate the length of the spiral reinforcement. Just focus with me. First thing, I will calculate the circumference of the horizontal circle, which is 2 into pi into the radius. And the radius is the diameter divided by 2. So if I want to calculate the circumference or the periphery, I'll just multiply 2 into 3.14 into the diameter which I just calculated now which is 0.45 divided by 2 because I need the radius. So I'll understand that the circumference here is 1.88 but the 1.88 linear meter is the circumference of the horizontal circle but these rounds are not actually horizontal circles. They are circles that are starting from a certain point and they just go up as it rounds. So until you reach the same point or the same starting point again you are elevated by the spacing which is 0.15 the 1.88 linear meter which I calculated as a circumference here is the circumference of the horizontal circle so how to calculate the circumference of this circle that goes up actually this can be done from the Pythagoras theorem of the triangles as we can see here and this theorem says that if you want to calculate the line C C will be equal to the square root of A square plus B square. So if I apply this to the circumference which I have, which is 1.88 linear meter, if I say C will be equal to 1.88 square plus 0.15 square under the square root. So I'll understand that the line C is equal to 1.89 meter and not 1.88 meter. I know that the difference is very minor, but still I'm just trying to tell you how to calculate the exact length of the spiral reinforcement. So in order to do that, all I have to do is to just go and multiply the number of loops, which I just calculated now by the length of loop. So the number of loops is 80 numbers and the length of loop is one. 0.89 so I have a total length of the spiral reinforcement of 151.2 linear meters again because this 1.89 is a little bit confusing I'll repeat it quickly so what did we do we calculated the circumference of just a normal circle or a horizontal circle and this is 2 by into radius so 2 into 3.14 into the radius the radius is equal to the diameter divided by 2 so 0.45 divided by 2 so if you multiply these numbers by each other you understand that the circumference of the horizontal circle is 1.88 meters so if I go to the Pythagoras theorem and I assume that the 1.88 is the line A and the spacing is the line B so I can get the line C which is equal to square root of a square plus B square. So I'll understand that line C is equal to 1.89. So this is the length of the circle as it goes up. When I multiply this length by the number of loops, I get the total length of the spiral reinforcement, which is 151.2 linear meter. After that, in order to calculate the weight now of the spiral reinforcement, now I have the total length, which is 151.2 linear meter. And the spiral reinforcement diameter is 10 millimeter. So again, I need the spiral reinforcement weight per linear meter and as we said how to calculate that the diameter of the reinforcement is squared divided by 162 so that means 10 squared divided by 162 so this is equal to 0.62 kilogram per linear meter which means if I have a steel reinforcement of 10 mm diameter one linear meter of this reinforcement weight will be equal to 0.62 kilogram which means like half kilogram or something like this anyway so the spiral reinforcement weight will be equal to 151.2, which is the spiral length, multiplied by the weight per linear meter, which is 0.62. So I'll get a total weight for the spiral reinforcement of 93.33 kilograms. So coming to the submission now, now I have the vertical reinforcement, which I calculated before. It was 296.3 kilogram. This is the vertical. And I have also 
the spiral reinforcement and the weight of the spiral reinforcement is 93.33 kilogram. So when I add these two numbers to each other, I'll understand that the total reinforcement weight in one pile is 389.63 kilograms so if the rate for the steel supply if for example the ton is 3000 so that means that one kilogram is 3000 divided by 1000 that means three so i'll just multiply the total reinforcement weight multiplied by the rate per kilogram of steel so simply 389.63 into 3 that will be 1168.88 dirhams per pile so now I have the cost of the concrete that I need for one pile and the steel that I need also for one pile. Now coming to the third part, which is the pile drilling cost, I'll just get a quotation from a subcontractor for the pile drilling rate. And let's assume that the pile drilling rate is 50 dirhams per linear meter and the pile depth is 12 meters. So that means that the pile drilling cost will be equal to the pile depth, which is 12 multiplied by 50. So around 600 dirhams per pile. This is the pile drilling cost. The fourth part will be the steel fixing cost because I need steel fixers to do the caging of the pile. So if the steel fixing rate is 0.4 dirhams per kilogram, and I have one video here on the channel that shows that based on the labor cost and the productivity, how to calculate the activity cost, which is this one, which we are seeing here. 0.4 dirhams per kg and we have the steel quantity here 389.63 so the steel fixing cost will be the cost per one kilogram of a steel fixing which is 0.4 multiplied by the steel quantity which is 389.63 from that we understand that the cost for the steel fixing per pile is 155.85 dirhams so i have these four numbers now i'll make a voq that look like this and we have just the item unit quantity rate amount and the item we have the concrete supply we have a steel supply pile drilling cost and steel fixing cost and we have the units and we have calculated these quantities here on this video and we have also shown you these rates on this video so when you multiply each quantity by each rate you get the amount when you take the submission here you understand that the total pile cost is 2636.89 dirhams but this is actually the cost of one pile i don't need the cost of one pile i need the cost of one linear meter of the shoring so how to do that actually i need to understand the number of piles per one linear meter of this shoring so how to do that looking to this section here or this detail here we understand that the pile diameter is 0.6 meter so in one linear meters how many piles are coming simply i can calculate that by dividing one which is one linear meter divided by the diameter of the pile which is 0.6 so we understand that in each one linear meter of the shoring we have 1.67 numbers of piles so let's say one pile and a half or something like that so anyway 1.67 piles so the cost of one linear meter of shoring will be equal to one pile cost multiplied by the number of piles in one linear meter so the one pile cost is 2636.89 and the number of piles is 1.67 so when we multiply them by each other we understand that the cost of one linear meter of shoring is 4394.81 when you multiply this rate by the total length of shoring that you have in your project you will get the amount for executing this item and this video here is where i show you how to estimate the cost of concrete works in excel i hope you enjoyed this video Video. and if you did please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video